Hi, so I want to show you a couple of options for Justice. Um, you said he was 10 years old and really into science and learning. So I'm going to start with some of that side. Um, we have several big books. Um, these are great. They have small bits of information. So even if he's struggling with reading, it's not going to be super imposing to stare at a big, a big mass amount of text. There's fold out pages and um, we have, there's several different topics in this big book section. There's a big book of the body, there's bugs, there's trucks and machines, there's sea animals, regular animals. Um, so yeah, just check out the big books um, series for more. And it's, I mean, they're beautiful pages and illustrations and stuff. And I believe Hannah has the stars and planets one as well. So anyway, so that's kind of a peek inside that. And then, um, for that science lover, again, small bits of information are where key, what is key to getting a child engaged, especially if they're a little bit reluctant. So, um, this talks all about it. It's an infographic form, so it's not, it's again, it's very accessible and they can delve right in, read bits and bits here and there that interest them and continue. It's also a great little resource to have if you're doing a project or need um, ideas for a project I've heard has this has been a great one for that since you guys have a um, association with homeschooling this will probably be a really good good one to have on hand I think it's just awesome we leave this one in the car usually and just read it as we go places similarly this um, this is just a little astronauts handbook all about what it's like to be an astronaut and I'll zoom in so you can kind of see the words sorry if it's a little blurry it's hard to do two things at once and keep this steady so um, lots of pictures, but if you like space at all and space exploration, this is all about the life of an astronaut. Ah, uh, can you read that? Sorry if it's blurry. And then I think you saw at the home party with Regina the Sea Inside series. This one, I love this. I think this is going to be such a great way to teach Weston history when he's older. Um, it's all about exploration and, and um, discoveries about the ocean and the explorers and how they came to be in different places, um, natural discoveries. Um, it does have pre the presidents, different things that they did during different time periods, um, the race for the North and South Poles, Roof of the World, Final Frontiers, and again, these are all flaps, so they're going to surely engage and be fun. Um, for him to learn about and there's several other sea inside books This one is just an all-around great resource to have I can't remember if Jana got this but it's the children's encyclopedia larger text so it's not as menacing as um, Those encyclopedias we grew up with right? Um, lots of images beautiful images either illustrations or photographs about so many different things. So if he likes a lot of different things, this would be a great option. Um, and then I'm gonna show you a couple activities that I picked out. Um, we have this 100 things to spot in the sky. Now these are cards and these would be fun to take on a camping trip or a night hike or just out when you're going out for a drive somewhere. It has, so there's constellations and then it talks about the meaning where to look for it, and with the brightest star, and then a little tidbit about it. Um, and then there's also, there were at the front, which I think I turned this the wrong way, and I'm sorry if I, Weston was playing with these, but there are like night sky finders, here we go, star finders B. So this will tell you like how to find the stars in the sky at different seasons, and kind of things like that. So just a fun little set to have. Um, and then, this is a write your own adventure stories, so he can um, really stimulate that creative side of him. If um, sometimes if if someone is struggling with reading, um, let them write at a couple levels below where they are at reading wise or where they're at grade wise, and this will help them understand words in a different way. This will give some story ideas and some space for it. Um, talks about the different structures of different tenses and different voices, gives you vocabularies to use. Um, just such a cool tool. And I have a, a customer who got this book and then they got each page 
I don't know if they laminated it or put those slip covers on it, but so basically they could have multiple kids write it and then they would transfer that to the computer. So um, it's just an option since I know you guys have a large family, but that is that one. And then lastly for the activities, um, the gardening for beginners. This is all about, and I love this spiral binding. I think it makes it such a cool, my niece got this, she just turned seven and she just has a garden. So they're going to be doing this. Um, and then another book you want to look at is the healthy food for young children. It might be a little young for him in terms of recipes. Um, but it's, it's written for adults to read for younger children. So, um, since he's a cooker, a cook, that's what Weston calls cooks. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so you said he's struggling reading. I'm not exactly sure where he is reading level-wise, but I wanted to show you this in case he needs um, to go back a little bit. So these are what we recommend for four to seven and up for those who um, are dyslexic or they don't like reading because perhaps it's too hard for them. This takes it back to the beginning, and but still will help with confidence levels because it's written in chapter form and a lot of words and um, there are still illustrations and stuff. There's an entire series of 15 of these. You can get them all together as a collection. They're thin, so they're again, they're not too crazy. Um, if he's ready for the next step up, there are four books and this is actually a different Jack. <laughs> it's crazy how that works, but um, this is a little bit more text heavy. So I'll show you kind of that so you can see there's four different books in this one. And these ones are a little bit more serious in their um, plot lines. Some about bullying, um, one, I think there might be a divorce and another one. And then um, one, the mom has cancer. So there's really great overall themes and feel good things, but they're um, approaching some serious issues as the kids grow older. So it's a good way for them to think. Um, I highly recommend this series. This is the Wheelnut series. There's five of these in the series. You can get them all together. Um, these are fun. Look at these illustrations. It's like a comic book meets a chapter book. And um, these are known for being awesome for kiddos who don't enjoy reading because they're probably too text heavy. This is how you want to do it. You'll inspire them and they'll have some fun and they'll, be, they'll catch themselves laughing. Um, another series you want to look at is also the Mythical Ninth series. It might be a little older. It is comic book-esque, but black and white, and it has text and some graphics in it. So um, I think that one is slated for nine years old and up, or maybe 10 years old and up. So um, you might want to look into that one. I don't have a copy of that. Um, lastly, this Osborne Illustrated Stories from the Greek Myths. These are beautiful. Now these are slated for eight years old and up for independent reading. So um, he could read this on his own if they're a little too tough for him. You can read this to him, but um, the illustrations are insane. They're just awesome. I actually read these to Weston. They kind of glaze over some of the violent parts, but um, he just thinks monsters and stuff like that is cool. So um, it's a beautiful illustration with a ribbon to hold your place. And then I'm, I'm going to name a couple other books. So um, there's Norse Myths. It's another illustrated collection like this that he might be into. Then there's an illustrated world history kind of reference book, and it's called Greeks. So that's more about the history of the Greeks. And then there's a really cool book. It's, um, it's more cartoonish inside, but it's called time traveler. So look up that it's a nonfiction to exploring like all over history and it goes from beginning to end. Um, and then also there's a series called the extreme adventures. They are not true stories, but they're inspired kind of just by like different things like crocodile attacks and shark bites and things like that. So um, if he wants to a more fiction series, that's a little bit more, um, his taste, that might be a good one. So I hope you found something that you like and sorry, this was so long. You're my first video wish list. Thank you, Kim.